What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy during these very crazy times of coronavirus that we're all going through. Today's video, I thought I would just recommend some things we could all watch during the, our time in quarantine to help pass the time. I'm hoping we get to return back to life as usual sooner rather than later. But in the meantime, while we're all going through this, I figured why not been some photography related things. So let's get to it. All right, so I actually have a physical copy. This is a documentary called Born Into Brothels. You probably heard me talk about this on Analog Talks podcast a few times. It's one of my favorites. It's about a photographer who goes to India and goes to the red light district, teaches the kids who live in the red light district photography. Obviously this was in like the early 2000s maybe late 90s that she did this. So she brought a bunch of point and shoot film cameras to teach these kids. They're all learning on film. It's a really amazing story because not only does she teach the kids film photography, she also kind of helps, tries to help them get out of the situation that they're in. She tries to get them in better schools. She enters them in photography like competitions. There's a few shining stars. There's actually one kid who is kind of a prodigy and it really highlights his journey in photography. And I, like I said, probably a million times on Analog Talk, it is one of my favorites. It's definitely worth checking out, especially now. It is available, it's not on Netflix or anything like that right now. For a while it wasn't anywhere, but I did recently find it. If you Google Born to Brothels, it'll pull up a website that is streaming it for free. There's just ads. So definitely available right now and definitely if you're looking for stuff to watch, highly recommend. That's the only one I have a physical copy of. The rest I'm just gonna, maybe I'll post them up right over here for you guys. Next up on my list is something I've also talked about in Analog Talk and on my YouTube channel a bunch. It's about my favorite photographer, Vivian Mayer. So the documentary is Finding Vivian Mayer. It's a pretty popular one. Most of you guys have probably already seen it, but it definitely is worth a rewatch if you have already seen it. And if not, also one of my favorites. I just checked before I went to do this video. It's not on Netflix anymore. It was, but I'm sure you can get it on Amazon or iTunes for to rent or buy for probably a decent price. It follows a nanny who was a photographer who throughout her life documented incredible street photography around Chicago and other places that she traveled, but she didn't do anything with the negatives. She she didn't print her work, she didn't show her work. It's a, it's a mystery why, we still don't know why she shot all this work and never showed it anywhere. The documentary follows John Maloof as he finds her images, and kind of brings her to light and shows her work to the world and her work is incredible and I'm so glad he did. She remains a mystery, but her work is so inspirational and she remains one of my favorite photographers. So that's number two on the list. Let's see, I wrote them down. Also, these aren't really any any particular order, so they're not like least favorite to favorite or anything like that, so. But the next one I wanna talk about, this one is available on Netflix. This is called The B-Sides, the Elsa Dorfman Portrait Photography. So this documentary, tells the story of Elsa's incredible photography career, photographing musicians and, and incredible subjects throughout her life. She was also a incredible large format photographer. She had a 20 by 24 Polaroid camera that she used and documented her subjects out of her house. So that was really cool to see one of those 20 by 24 cameras like in, in action. It's a really sweet documentary just following her journey and her life. So if you guys haven't checked that one out, I highly recommend. Okay, next up is gonna be Harry Benson's Shoot First documentary. This is another one that is on Netflix, and this one documents Harry's insane career. He's an incredible photojournalist who seemed to be in the right spot throughout history all of the time. His career starts out with him getting the opportunity to document the Beatles very early on in their career, but he's also done a ton of stuff with, you know, documenting the civil rights movement. And he was actually at the Bobby Kennedy assassination. Those famous photos of, of Bobby Kennedy, like lying after just being shot are, are his. And there's some funny moments of people saying like that who were there, who were, you know, they say like this in the middle of this tragedy, Harry's still shooting. So super inspirational. It's called Harry Benson shoot first because that's just how he went about his, photography career, shoot first, apologize later. 
I mean, he also got to work with a ton and ton of celebrities and super inspirational guy and super inspirational documentary. So you guys should definitely check that out. Also, again, on Netflix. So this last documentary, Instant Dreams, I actually watched today. This one is not really, it, it wasn't my favorite for a couple of reasons. Uh, I was really hoping it would be more about Polaroid and Edwin Land and how he, how Polaroid came to be more about the Impossible Project and where they're going up until that point. I mean, there wasn't, Doc wasn't involved in the documentary at all. I was really hoping he would show up and kind of explain how Impossible Project came to be. So it follows the author, Christopher Bonaneos. He wrote the book Instant, The Story of Polaroid, which is on my list of books I plan to read during this quarantine, which maybe will be another video, but it follows it follows him, so we get some glimpses of, you know, his time where he went to Impossible Project, but there really just wasn't enough of what I was hoping to see. There are some really cool moments in the movie, so if you're interested in, you know, Polaroid, like most of us probably are, it definitely, I would say it's worth checking out. It wasn't one of my favorites, but still fun to watch, especially because you know, we're all trapped indoors, and I know, I mean, myself, I'm fiending for all things creative right now so getting to see anything polaroid related right now definitely got my juices flowing so i still think it was worth checking out that being said that wraps up today's video so thank you guys again for watching i hope you are all again staying safe and healthy and i hope this gives you some ideas of some fun things you could do during the quarantine thanks everybody stay safe and i'll see you next time